my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we've got another Sure Cuts A Lot tutorial and we are going to be doing knockout text and image. I love doing knockouts, these are so lovely to do. Now they are typically quite easy to do in design space. If you're working with just sort of one, two, three, even four layers, if you go above that, it can get quite confusing. And this is where she cuts a lot, comes in really handy. I'm going to do a very simple one, then I'm going to do a layered one, and then I'm going to do a slightly more complicated layered one. It will depend on the knockout that you want to achieve as to whether it's easier to do it in design space or it's easier to do it in Sure Cuts A Lot. And I've covered this plenty of times on the channel in Design Space. First things first, I want to move my layers panel because I want to be able to see it better. So we've got a box here with an arrow and I'm just going to click that and it will move our layers panel for us. We're then going to come up to the type tool and I can click anywhere on the mat and I can type my word. And the key to this is you want them to be in capitals and you also want it to be a good, chunky, but uniform font. So if I select my selection tool, first thing I'm going to do is actually make it bigger. Now, it doesn't have to be the size that you're going to cut it in design space, but it will make it easier because if you do this small in here and then enlarge it in design space, you're going to change the spacing. Equally, if you do it big in here and then reduce it down in design space. Again, you'll reduce that spacing and the spacing to this is really important. So I would advise that you get this as close to the size you, that you want it to be in here. You can of course use your zoom tool, which is here, to zoom in if it's going to be sort of three or four inches. But I'm going to make this quite large. So I'm going to come up to my arrow here and I'm going to make the width, let's do 10 inches. I'm going to make sure that selection tool is selected and we're going to open up our text box and I'm going to change the font. So there's two fonts that I love doing with Knockout. There's lots of other fonts out there as well but the first one is Autumn which looks like that and the second one is Impact which looks like this. So we'll do impact first of all. Now I want my letters to be close but not overlapping. So I can either do this in my text box using the tracking. The problem with this is that as you'll see, we have some that are overlapped and some that are still quite away from each other. So if we put that tracking back, we're going to come up to object and ungroup and this will ungroup our letters for us. Now we can move these in two ways. We can either use the arrows on our keyboard to move them. However, you can sometimes go too far and if you go back that spacing just isn't where you want it to be. So again, if we come up to our arrow area, we can use our nudge tool to nudge them into the position we want. So I use my keyboard to get me so far and then I use my nudge tool to either come out a little bit or go a bit closer together. Because we've ungrouped this, we need to now union it. So union is like weld. So I need to draw around this, make sure that all my letters are selected and then I come up to path and union. And as I say, union is very much like weld. And we can see they're unioned because it tells us so. So nice and easy knockout I'm going to do first of all. I'm going to come to my library and I'm just going to get a diamond. And I'm going to do a couple of these. So I'm going to come up to object and duplicate. And if I increase the columns, it will give me as many duplicates as I want. So let's go with five. 
I'm going to make these a bit bigger by holding down my shift key and dragging them out and that will keep them in proportion and I do want them all to be different sizes and of course I can rotate them as well I don't have to have them all uniform now these are currently all separate layers and I want them to be one layer or at least grouped together so all I'm going to do is use my layers panel here I'm going to select the first diamond hold down my shift key and then select the others and just for ease I'm going to come up to path and union but I'm going to make sure that my text is not selected and I can see it's not selected because it's not blue like my diamonds are so if we look at our layers panel now we can see we've got our diamonds which are unioned and our text which is unioned. If I select both layers, again hold down my shift key and just select both of those layers, I can come up to effects and knockout. And I can choose the gap, so just for a normal knockout we keep the gap at zero and we select preview and you can see that is how it's going to look. If we want it to have a bit of a border around it we can increase that gap and again select preview and you can go up if you want so you can really play with the way that this looks I tend to keep it as a normal knockout or I may go to 0 0.5 if I want to do something just a little bit different but have a play once you're happy we can then go to OK and you'll see we've got our two layers there. To save it I'm going to make sure it's selected and it's within this mat. I'm going to go to file, export, it wants to save it as an SVG I'm going to give it a name. So let's call it shine scale knockout and save. It'll come up with our export options, we want to click design space compatible and OK. So that's our first one done. We're going to create our next one and this time we're going to do layers. So again I'm going to get my type tool and I'm going to type my word all in capitals. I'm going to select my selection tool and I want to change my font to autumn this time and I want to increase my size so let's make it a width of let's do 11 on this one and again we need to change that spacing I've got a feeling if I just close this down that if we open our text box and we do our tracking we're going to have the same problem as before which we are so again I'm going to come up to object ungroup I'm going to manually move them using the arrows on my keyboard and also the nudge tool as well and again because we've ungrouped this we want to make sure that it's union so we can select our word and we can then come up to path and union and we know it's unioned because our layers panel tells us so so now we're going to bring in an SVG so I'm going to go to import I'm going to select my SVG which is this beautiful rainbow from digital gems and I will link to it in the description below along with the fonts I've used and I'm just going to change the colour on my words so that they stand out a bit. So I'm just going to come to colour and then change the fill to black. So I now want to size this up. So again I'm just going to hold down my shift key and make that larger. And because I'm holding down my shift key it's keeping it perfectly in proportion. And then what I'm going to do is duplicate this SVG. So with my SVG selected I'm going to come up to object, duplicate and under total columns I can increase it to 2 
and okay and you'll see why in a second so because this is a grouped svg i don't need to do union all i need to do is come in and make sure that both my text and my svg are selected and again i can do that in my layers panel by clicking one of them and holding down the shift key and selecting the other coming up to effects and knockout again i can play with the gap so i can preview and i'm going to leave it like that but if i wanted more of a gap between my knockout i could but i'm going to keep it at zero and i'm then going to select okay Now I want to create those colored layers, which is why I brought this in. And this is where this gets super clever. If I come to my layers panel, I can select this arrow here. And I'm actually just going to hide my text. So I'm only working with my knockout at this point. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up to object, and break apart and that's going to make each of my individual knockout pieces separate so i want to use the colors that were originally used i don't have to i could come in and just select each part of the rainbow and manually change the color that way but i want to use the same colors so what I'm going to do is this duplicate I've created, I'm going to come up to object and ungroup so that my colors become separate color layers. I'm then going to select the part that I want to color in and down my toolbar, you'll see I've got the dropper here. If I click that and I bring it over to my rainbow, when I click that color, that selection will change to that color. So again, I can select the next part, get my dropper, click the yellow and it will turn to yellow and I can keep doing that for each of these so that I'm creating the colour layers. And it's nice and easy because I don't have to keep coming to my colour palette. So now I'm going to select this one get my dropper and start changing that arch to that green. And I do think that this is easier with the layers than it is in design space because in design space, you have to do the knockout a layer at a time. Whereas this way, you're doing the knockout all at once and then you're just coming in and changing the colors. So I do think when you're dealing with quite a few layers, that this is an easier way to do it. But that's just my personal opinion. You may disagree. And I love this dropper tool. It's fantastic. So once we've done our colors, we can get rid of this. We don't need it anymore. And now what we need to do is actually union each of our color layers. So if I come to my layers panel and on my rainbow, I click this down I can select each of my layers. So I'm going to do red first. So I'm going to get the first layer, hold down my shift key and select the next red layer and then scroll through to find the others. Once I've got them all selected, I can then come up to path and union. And that will then union that red layer. So next I can do yellow. So select my first yellow layer, hold down my shift key and use my layers panel to select the rest of the yellow layers. Once they're all selected, I can come up to path and union. Same with my green, hold down my shift key and select the rest of my green layers. Come up to path 
and union with my heart again hold down my shift key and start selecting the layers and then path and union I can then do my purple so hold down my shift key and select those path and union and then my blue as well and then union I can then bring back my word make sure that both are selected and they're within the realms of this map which they are come up to file export we can give it a name and we're saving it as an SVG so let's do bright knockout and save it will come up with our export options and we want to make sure that design space compatible is selected and OK. So this time we're going to do a slightly more complicated layered one. I say complicated, it, it's not that complicated. And I might actually do two more to show you actually. Yes, I am. I'm going to do two more. So I'm going to come up to my type tool and I'm just going to type my word again in capitals. And I'm going to keep it as autumn font. I'm going to use my selection tool. Um, I am going to change the colour on the fill just to make it stand out a bit. And I'm also going to change the width. And let's do again, let's do it quite big so we can see what we're doing. Let's do 10 inches. Again, we need to manually move this, and I've got a feeling if we use the tracking we are going to end up with them being oh actually so that time we've just used the tracking so because we haven't ungrouped we don't actually need to come in and do path union because we haven't ungrouped it this time i'm going to bring in an svg and this is just one from creative fabrica and again i'll link to this and that's come in huge so let's reduce that down and we're going to start just by sizing it up and working out where we want it to be and of course I can hold down my shift key just to make that bigger so that is pretty much where I want it to be now I'm going to duplicate that again so I'm going to come up to object duplicate total columns two and okay and we're just going to move the duplicate over here out the way now if i open up the layers panel on my image you'll see that we've got the outline of the layer and then it's infilled so this is super easy with this one very similar to before what we're going to do is we're actually going to come up to the actual layer and we're going to go object, ungroup, and then we're going to select those three outline pieces, and we're going to go path and union, so they become one, and I want to change the colour on those so we can see it a bit better, so let's just make it a grey. Now if I move that, you'll see we've got that outline. So what we would have to do if we were doing this in design space is we would have to do the outline and then each of the layers as well. We don't with this. This is so clever. So what we're going to do is position it where we want it to be. We're going to select the outline, hold down our shift key. and then select our text we're going to come up to effects knockout preview 
and we can then see how that's going to look and of course if we wanted to increase the gap we could but I'm going to keep that at zero and then okay I actually don't need the duplicate but it's always worth doing it just in case if I come up to my layers panel and I select my knockout and I open it up I can then hide that outline so you can see where it's cut out and we can also see where our color areas are meant to be so if I select the text and I come up to object and break apart it's going to break apart each of those pieces for me and I can do exactly what I did before so I'm going to select this piece here I'm going to come up to my dropper and of course we've already ungrouped this and I can select that color again if I select this piece I can come to my dropper and select that one and I can keep doing this all the way around I don't have to use these colors I can of course change them um, to whatever I want them to be but this is just nice and easy to be able to use the dropper and if you're unsure of what you need to be coloring you can bring back that outline so that you can see better the inside areas so if that makes it easier for you then bring it back and you can do that just by clicking the eye in the layers panel very similar to design space once that's done we can get rid of this one because we don't need it anymore and we can do what we did before <coughs> where we union each of our color layers so if we open up we can select our green ones first so use your layers panel because i just find it easier hold down your shift key and just come in and select those green areas and then path and union and of course once you've unioned it you can change the color completely if you want so I could then come up to my color fill and I could go sort of neon green if I wanted and it will change the whole layer at once which is that one and that one path union and then of course you could go to your color palette and we could make them say purple and then we can do our letters we can actually union them back together as a color layer as well Just make sure you're holding down your shift key when you do that path and union and then there we go we've got all of those layers and their knockout so if we actually start hiding some of them you can see how that's then going to look make sure we've got both our layers selected come up to file export let's call it egg scow knockout saving it as an svg save design space compatible okay so this time we're going to do a knockout with an outline and then we're going to fill the colors so i'm going to get my type tool and let's just type oh i don't know uh flutter let's do flutter we can get our selection tool and let's make that a width of let's do 11 this time we can come to our text we're going to keep it as autumn and let's just play with that tracking and we're going to have to manually move that 
So again, we can come to Object, Ungroup, use our arrow key and our nudge to get those where we want them. We're then going to select the layer, come to Path, and because we ungrouped it, we do need to Union. I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller, and I'm just going to hold my Shift down and do it that way and make sure I'm happy with that, which I am. I'm then going to go import and we've just got an outline image and I'm just going to change the colour on that so we can see it a bit better and I can then bring it over and work out where I want it to be. So let's say I want something like that. And actually I could bring another one in if I wanted to but actually we'll just leave it like that. So all I'm going to do is select both layers. I've made sure I've unioned my text. I'm going to come up to Effects and Knockout. Preview. OK. If I open up my layers, I can then see what's going on. So if I hide my pink for a second, I can see the inside there. So if I zoom in using my zoom tool, we can see a little bit better what's happening. So I'm going to use my selection tool and I do need to come in and I need to go object, break apart, and I can then start coloring these individual pieces if I wanted to. I could leave them black, but I can also color layer them if I want to. So let's do just a couple in different colors. So let's do one in like a bright red. And we can do that one in something like a turquoise. And of course I would be cutting these out in vinyl or iron on. But equally if I wanted to do this just as a print in a on a piece of white cardstock, I could. And then of course I can, you know, really play with the colours. But let's just do one let's do a couple more colours. And then what we can do is use our dropper tool. So for example, if I click this here, I can get my dropper and I could make that then yellow. And the same here with this one. I could get my dropper and make it purple. Then all we need to do is actually open up our word layer and we can start unioning those colours. So let's choose all our light purples. We can go path, union. We can then select all our reds path and union. We can come in and do all our letters and then we can bring back that pink outline as well. We can reduce our layers down again. Make sure that we've got both selected and they're within the mat. Come up to file, export. Let's give it a name so let's call it flutter scowl knock. and save. We want it to be design space compatible and OK. We can then come into design space, go to upload, upload image, browse. We can start bringing in our files and saving them, give them a name and a tag. Once we've installed them, we can insert them to images. And of course they're going to come in grouped. So this one is grouped together and all we would need to do is we could just change the colour if we wanted to. This one is grouped together and if we do want to reduce it, so let's just reduce it down. It's not changed our shape that much. So it hasn't changed our lines that much but just be aware that it can do. We can, of course, if we want to, 
change the colors on these so if we actually wanted to reduce our layers down we could so for example I could select that layer and that layer by holding my shift key down and I could then weld them together and that means they would then cut out on the same sheet in the same color exactly as you see them so you can still play with them when they come into design space same with this one if we reduce that down a bit we're not changing it by that much but just be aware that you can and then of course you can go to cut and you could cut them out in vinyl iron on if you wanted to do it as a print you could simply flatten it to a shape and then you could have this as some form of word art it's completely up to you please do subscribe hit that notification bell give the video a like any comments or questions leave them below i know this has been a long one and there's a lot of information to take in as i say sometimes it'll be easier to do it in design space sometimes it'll be easier to do it in show cuts a lot but at least you've got that option as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!